welcome sa sipnayan.com uh, In this video ay pag-aaralan natin kung paano ba mag-add ng integers using chips. So, pwede natin i-represent yung integers using positive and negative chips. For example, sa number 1, no? so, i-represent natin yung positive integers as uh, blue chips at yung negative integers as red chips. So, for example, meron tayong positive 4. No? So, meron tayong positive 4. No? Yung chip natin may positive sa gitna. And then, meron tayong positive 5. No? Okay. So, meron na, ilang chips meron na tayo? So, simple lang, no? Pag positive, tsaka positive, sabi natin, i-add lang natin yan or Pilangin natin yung mga positive chips. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No? Of course, hindi naman natin kailangan magbilang. But, just for emphasis. So, 4 plus 5 equals, this is positive 4. Okay, lakihan natin ng konti. So, positive 4 plus positive 4 or positive 5 equals positive 9. So, pagpareho namang negative, ano namang nangyari pagpareho negative? So, I think alam nyo ako ano namang nangyari, no? So, pagpareho negative, meron tayo negative 6, no? Anim na negative chips. And then plus, magdadagdag tayo ng dalawang negative chips. So, magiging ilang chips na yan. So, hindi na natin bilangin meron tayong madong negative chips. So, negative 6 plus negative uh, 2 equals negative 8. No? So, medyo magkakaproblema tayo ng konti. Medyo mas mahirap siya pag parehong, or pag hindi pareho yung given natin, hindi pareho nung sign. So, what happens? Ano pa paano magagawin natin? For example, negative 5 plus positive 3. So, una, meron tayong negative 5 or 5 negative chips and then yung isang addend natin is positive 3 so tatlong positive ano gagawin natin? so kung maalala ninyo dun sa unang mga videos natin sa mga previous videos ang sabi natin if we move to the right no, one unit so for example what happens if for example this is the number line no we natin yung block yung number line natin para mas ano siya. Mas kita siya. So, for example, this is the number line and this is zero. If you move one unit to the right, no? If you move one unit to the right, no? this is positive one, remember? And then, you move another or you move one unit to the left. So, this is negative one. What happens if you move to the right and then you move to the left one unit? So, magiging zero pa rin siya. Ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin ito 1 plus 1. 1 plus, 1 plus, sorry, negative 1. 1 plus 1. Or 1 plus negative 1 is equal to 0. Is equal to 0. Anong, anong ano nito? Anong connection nito dito sa chips natin? Ibig sabihin, pag meron tayo isang positive chip tsaka isa nating isang negative chip, then, pag kinumbay natin siya, ay zero. Ibig sabihin, bawat pares nitong dalawang ito ay zero. So, from from the given, pwede natin i-cancel itong pares nito kasi zero nga ito. This is also zero. And this is also zero. So, ilan na lang yung natira? Dalawang negative. Ibig sabihin, negative 5 plus positive 3 is equal to negative 2. So, negative 5 plus positive 3 is equal to negative negative 2. Okay? Last example, we have 
what is positive 2 plus negative 7? What is positive 2 plus negative 7? So, meron tayong ilang chips or ilang positive chips. We have 2 and then we have Seven negative chips. So, mag, again, isang pare isang positive chaka negative magiging sorry, magiging zero. No? So, magiging zero ito. Letter if black, then magiging zero. Ilan na natira? One, two, three, four, five. So, positive two plus. plus negative 7 is equal to negative 5. Okay? So, siguro, from, from the examples, mas kita natin, ano, na syempre, ang matitira yung mas marami. At titignan nyo rin kung paano nyo yung pagparisin. Pagparisin nyo yung isang negative tsaka isang positive, pwede nyo i-cancel out. And then, the, the uh, each pair of chips, yung positive and negative, or blue and red, in this case, I equivalent to zero. So I hope from here, I you can use this strategy in adding positive and negative integers. Okay, so para makareceive ng mga videos natin, kung nasa sipnayan.com kayo, pwede kayo mag-subscribe sa email. And then, kung nasa YouTube naman kayo, you can um, click the subscribe button below the video. Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.